Welcome to the video. Today I'm going on a road trip to Flagstaff, Arizona for a couple reasons. One being it's 116 degrees in Phoenix and just being real, I'm sick of baking like a rotisserie chicken on all these runs. I mean, last night I had a 10 mile run and it was 105 degrees at night, like in pitch black. So that's just not gonna work. Today I have a 15 mile workout and I knew I needed to go somewhere that it was not like an oven. And so I decided last minute, like literally a couple hours ago, just to book a hotel, pack up my stuff, pack up some food, and just drive up to Flagstaff and train here. This is actually a great spot to train. A lot of like Olympic runners come here because it's also in elevation along with the good weather. So I don't know, didn't really have anything planned. I'm just gonna wing it like I always do. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna find a place to run, get a good training session in and just have a good time. School doesn't start for another week so I got a lot of time just to travel and do some fun stuff. So I'm gonna take you along with me and just we'll see what happens. <laughs> Made it to the hotel room, two and a half hour drive. This place is pretty nice. This is actually the first hotel I've ever just like booked for myself. But yeah, let me give you a little hotel tour even though no one cares. When you walk in, you got the couch right here and you have a desk with a nice little divider in between. And you have the bed here. And then across from it, you got the bathroom, shower, toilet, TV, which is in kind of a terrible location but it's all right they took you years to grow so by all means try but I'm afraid for you all right so for dinner I have chicken rice and some honey mustard straight out of a bag all right now the plan is just to chill out probably gonna take a nap and then I also have to find a spot to run, so I'm just gonna Google trails near me. But yeah, got about an hour to chill, and then we're hitting a workout. Those wings were grown fear and fret. All right, update, I didn't take a nap, but I did find a place to run. So before that, got a little pre-run fit check, Lululemon, tank top, some Brooks half running tights. Of course, my favorite shoes of all time, the Invincible Run 3s, and then some Lululemon socks, and the Koros Pace 2. In my last video, I asked for recommendations on energy gels to use, and a lot of you recommended Huma gels. These things are amazing. I tried them out on my 16 miler a couple days ago. It's like all whole foods and like real food in there, so. These did not hurt my stomach, so I'm gonna be using these from now on. Driving through Flagstaff is always such a vibe. It's just this little town, mountain town. You got NAU, the college here, and I don't know, it's just cool. If you're ever in Arizona, Flagstaff's a good place to come visit, because like I said, you kind of get that Colorado mountain town vibe. But you're also close to like the Grand Canyon or Phoenix. So I'm pumped to be here. I like coming up here as much as I can. Um, main reason the weather is just nice up here. Um, but yeah, it's a good time. I'm enjoying it. All right, switching over to GoPro now. So to start off this front, I just have an easy two miles, but it is hard to breathe. I kind of forgot that the altitude is crazy here. So just gonna ease into it. And then after this, I have six miles at a 7.10 pace. Just getting mentally prepared for that right now. Trying to catch my breath, get my heart rate down. And that's where the work starts. But look at this view. The weather is amazing. 
the mountains. Can't complain. So in my handheld, I have two scoops of electrolytes from BPN. And then I'm also carrying two goos just in case. All right, so I'm about a mile in. Still trying to catch my breath a little bit, but feeling good. So I'm done with the six mile fast paces of the run, but I'm not doing well. Uh, I just trouble breathing up here. So pretty disappointing, but still got a lot left in this workout. So just gotta keep going. That's part of what it is sometimes. A lot of runs suck during marathon prep, like a lot of runs, but you know, you just keep going because the runs that are good make it all the worth it. So right now I'm struggling, but I know that eventually, you know, it'll be worth it. Still got six miles left in the workout. I got 800 meter repeats, and then I've got another two miles fast, and then two miles easy. So I'm gonna finish this up. That's about it. Although today might be one of the worst runs that I've had in a while. I cannot complain. I mean, look where I'm at. I get to be out in nature, running, and even though I'm feeling pain, at least I'm able to feel pain, you know? Like there's a lot of people who wish they could run and feel something, but they can't. And so it's a privilege to even be able to move and have health and a body that works, so. This run has sucked, but I'm just thankful I can run and feel pain. So if you're able to go out and run, never take that for granted. All right, workout is done. Now I just have a two mile cool down and that will wrap up. 15 miler. Ah. I don't even know if you can see me, but first things first, I'm gonna go to a gas station, grab some water, because I ran out of water way too early. So I'm gonna get hydrated, head back to the hotel, and then we'll debrief the run. All right, so just stopped at Target, so let's do a little haul, show you what I got. First off, I don't know why, but I was craving some like fruit punch, so. I don't know why. Ice cream, got like 16 things of water, because I need water. I got some spoons for the ice cream, because I realized I didn't have a spoon with me. And then I also got a monster for the morning. So that's a target haul. All right, so I just took a shower, threw on a hoodie, so we're chilling. But I wanted to go over the run because it just did not go well at all. The plan was to run two miles easy at the beginning, which was fine. You know, two mile easy warm up, that's just standard. Like, that's what I do at this point. Um, but in the beginning stages, I did feel like it was hard to breathe, but then after that two mile warm up, I went into six miles at a 7.15 pace, 
Um, and that first mile I actually hit, I hit it at like a 714. Um, but I was like winded and I knew right then and there that I was in trouble. Um, because that was the first mile out of six that I had to do at that 715 pace and I was already absolutely gassed. Um, but I kept going that second mile I hit at like a 704 so way under pace which was good um, but then every mile after that I was off on all those paces for that six mile stretch um, which sucked you know but after that six miles I then went into a three minute jog um, and then after that, went into 800 meter repeats. I did four of those with a minute and a half rest in between. Um, and those I was supposed to do in three minutes and 20 seconds each. And once again, I was off on those paces as well. And then after the 800 meter repeats, I went into two miles at a 710 pace, which you can probably guess I was also off on all those paces as well. And then I finished out the workout with a two mile easy pace jog if you will so yeah today was not a good day and by the way this isn't planned either I was fully expecting to come out here and run in 75 degree weather as opposed to 110 in Phoenix and just crush it have an awesome workout um, but it didn't go that way at all in fact I had one of the hardest and worst workouts of my prep so far and so I just want to talk about how to get through bad runs and like what to do when you have a bad run. Bad runs are extremely common. I know it can be easy to watch like influencers or videos that you see on YouTube or whatever and it looks like running is just easy for all these people that you're watching and you're like why is it not that way for me? But you have to remember that you're only watching a few seconds or a few minutes of a run but that run took that person an hour to two hours to do. So you're only getting a fraction of a highlight reel of that person's run. Um, and so part of what I want to start doing more on this channel is showing you like the truth behind marathon training. It is not easy. It's very difficult. At this point, I'm about three and a half months into training and it, it's, it's hard. I'm at a point where it's like very difficult for me every day you have to choose to like go outside and get yourself to go run because no matter who you are there's only a select few people who wake up and think like oh let's go i have a 15 mile run to get done today it's not something that is like you know excites you necessarily but you do it because of the discipline and the commitment you have to your goal. So never think that a run, just because it's bad or just because it hurt or you didn't hit your paces, it's not benefiting you. It is. Every time you step out the door and go run, you are growing and you are becoming a better runner. You have to put in that awful grunt work before you can you know, reap the rewards of it. So learn from it, grow from it, figure out ways to make your run feel better. You know, maybe you didn't eat well, maybe you didn't sleep well, maybe you didn't drink enough. Things like that. Analyze those things, but don't dwell on it too long. You just have to move on because you have a whole lot more runs to get done to achieve your goal. I still have days where I'm like, why am I doing this? You know, the days where you're out and it's brutally hot, you're by yourself, no one cares that you're running, no one cares that you're not running. No, just no one cares, it seems like but you're still out there, you know, gutting out 10 mile runs, 15 mile runs. And it can be easy, especially for me, to be like, why am I doing this? What am I trying to prove, you know, stuff like that. But then it just comes back to the fact that I have the ability to run. I have a body that works. I am blessed with health. The reason I set the goal to run a sub three hour marathon is because I don't know if I can achieve it. It's something that I've never done I don't know if I can do, it intimidates me and it freaks me out. And that's why it's so worth it and that's why this means so much to me because I'm trying to do something that I've never done before and I don't know if I can do it. It means nothing to set a goal that you know you can achieve. I mean that just, it doesn't, it, there's no magnitude or weight to that goal. And so for me, this marathon and this training season has been the hardest thing I've ever done physically. And there are plenty of days where I ask myself why I do it. But it all comes back to the fact that I set a goal for myself. I'm 22 years old. I have a body and the health capable of doing this. And so I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. So that's all I got off the top of my head. Um, but I hope you took something away from that. You learned something from that. 
I'm just gonna chill out the rest of the night. Probably watch some Suits. I'm back on my Suits kick. So any of you that watch Suits, let me know in the comments. We'll get some conversation going about what we like and don't like about Suits. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna wake up. Uh, probably go just enjoy some of the nice weather here in Flagstaff and then head back to Phoenix. So I'll see you all in the morning. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. I'm currently back at the park that I ran at last night um, just because it's beautiful this morning. It's nice and cool and the smell of pines is amazing. So I'm just going to start the morning off with a little walk, get some drone shots out here for the video. I might also go into town and grab some coffee before I head out this morning. My dude's getting after it. He's probably dropping like a seven flat, 6.30, something like that. Just got coffee and a pastry. Guys, I got so lucky. This place was like doing a promotional day or something, and so I got everything for free. So, if you're ever in Flagstaff, go to Cedar House. It's a really cool place. The staff is great. They let me like go behind the bar and film and stuff. So, if you're in Flagstaff, go to Cedar House. We're gonna do a little taste test and review of the pumpkin spice latte. Oh my word. One of the easiest 10 out of 10s I've ever given. Now we got the pastry, got a little blueberry pastry. So let's try this out. There's a lot of crust, so I'd cut down on the crust a little bit, but the taste is great. I give this a seven out of 10. That is gonna wrap up the video. Thank you all so much for coming on this short little trip with me to Flagstaff to get some training in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like. Also subscribe and leave a comment. I'll be reading through the comment section and responding to you all. But that's all I have for today. I'm gonna head back to Phoenix and I will see you all in the next video.